Hello, I'm Wayne Visser and I'm founder and CEO of CSR International and Kaleidoscope Futures. I'm also a senior associate at the University of Cambridge and their program for sustainability leadership. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be talking to you today at your clean drinks event, even though it is across the wires. And I've been asked to say a little bit about some of the themes I explore in my book, The Age of Responsibility, which is about CSR 2.0 and the new DNA of business. What do I mean by this? Essentially, I believe that the approaches we've been taking to CSR or sustainability over the last 20 years have failed. And by this, I mean that if you look at virtually any indicator of our quality of life, whether that be uh, the gap between rich and poor, uh, corruption, the growth in carbon emissions, the loss of biodiversity, all of these are trends that are moving in the wrong direction, despite us having more than ever before on CSR and sustainability. So what's going on? Well, the first thing is that I distinguish five different approaches to CSR, and the first four are what I believe are failing. Let me just mention them for, uh, for now. The first is a defensive approach to CSR in an age of greed. The second is a charitable approach in the age of philanthropy. The third is a promotional approach in the age of marketing. And the fourth is a strategic approach in the age of management. You can explore those more in the book, but suffice to say for now, that all of those capture the sorts of approaches that we've had so far to CSR. And they're failing for three reasons. The first is that they tend to be incremental. They rely on businesses setting their own voluntary targets and slowly having continuous improvement using tools like ISO 14001 or ISO 26000 to slowly make progress. The problem is our uh, challenges that we face are far more urgent and large and we need a better approach than that. The second failing is that they tend to be peripheral, these approaches. They sit in a CSR department or a public relations or corporate affairs department and are never truly integrated into the strategy and the operations of the business. The third failing is that they still tend to be uneconomic. Even though there is often a business case for sustainability, what we see when we look at the market is that the market does not consistently reward companies that are practicing sustainability and responsibility. Why, after all, do we have to pay more for fair trade products or organic products? Um, if we look at these failings, we say these are the result of a certain approach to CSR. Could we do something differently? I believe we can and I call it transformative CSR or CSR 2.0. And there are five underlying principles. The first is that we have to be focused far more on creativity and innovation, whether it's through uh, innovation in the clean tech space, whether it's through social enterprise. We can't afford anymore to have the managerial approach of ticking boxes and auditing management systems. The second principle is scalability. We have to find solutions and products that are applied to the whole market, not just as niche, premium, uh, ethical type products and services that only a small percentage ever consume. We need the approach of a Walmart saying that all of their fish products will be Marine Stewardship Council certified, all of their uh, cotton products will be organic, and then we start to get scalability. The third is responsiveness. We need companies that genuinely are listening to stakeholders and responding, actually changing their business model, as we've started to see with the pharmaceutical company in the last five years. Uh, the fourth principle is glocality. We have to look for global and locally appropriate solutions, um, not just those that satisfy uh, the international markets and not just those that are pandering to local communities. And finally, we need uh, a circularity or a cradle-to-cradle -cradle approach, which is something I believe you are very familiar with there at Clean Drinks. So I think taken together, these represent a new and a different way, and I hope I get the opportunity in future to come and elaborate more on this when I speak to you in person.
So thank you very much.